What's up, Charlotte? Stephens, Miss Ward is coming to you from South Florida. We are bracing ourselves for Hurricane Ian, which is uh, trying to call, come and cause havoc. Shout out to everybody in Florida. No matter what coast you're on, stay safe, stay vigilant, and stay on top of your game. I myself am at home catching up on the many responsibilities in my life. I don't know where that where they going, but anyway, I am currently headed to my favorite barbershop, hoping somebody there so I can get these naps under control. You know I'm happy I'm nappy, but I still gotta control it. The bush just keeps growing. But anyway, um, I was just thinking today I checked in with all my two live crew, my my round table, my ride or dies here in the area. You know, I know they out because we all hustlers, so I know they out getting a bag. Just letting them know that I'm out here and available if they need help because that's what we do in South Florida. We have each other back. We don't care what company we it is. If we all on the same team, we taking care of customers. We know how it is out here trying to be a one-man show or having, uh, you know, additional jobs to knock out. So we look out for each other. So with that said, you know, what I want to talk about right now is relationships. You know, a lot of people I know personally, businesses are at a standstill because they ripped their ass with somebody who had their back. If you know, like I know, before the year's over, you need to pick up that phone, apologize, break bread, you know, because people are going to have disagreements. But it's for you to get it back online and do what you say you're going to do, not play with the, with the game. You know, it's a lot of people. That's why I don't talk to people right now. You know, as much as I love y'all, it's a lot of people I refuse to even communicate with because. Yeah, so it's crazy, man. I'm watching people do the dumbest shit ever. It's only in Florida, motherfucker just going to make a move. But anyway, um, getting back to what I was saying. You know, when you deal with a relationship, you're going to have ups and downs. And because you're dealing with people who don't have the same level of experience, they don't have the patience and they don't understand what the long game looks like. How you got to make a little at the beginning to make a lot long term. And so, like, right now, my company's national and global at this point. But that was something that was a came through relationships. In fact, I just got off the phone with one of the... Uh, companies that helped me expand and we were just talking about the kinks and you know how we want to move forward because you know every 30 days we actually go back and revisit the relationship and the reason is is because it's uh, a lot of things I'm embarking on a brand new a lot of things they are embarking on a brand new and because my company has stepped up to the forefront and done business in a certain manner in an expeditious efficient and quality controlled manner you know we've been able to stand out now please understand I tell people all the time, this was not the original plan. Shout out to my boy over at Prospect Tire. I love that dude, man. Now, you talking about a bag? Used tires? Psh, that dude been there forever, man. Straight cash business. Man, I'm telling you. I don't even want to talk about it, bro. Every time I think about it, I'd be like, why am I not over there doing that? Y'all, anybody know me, know my automotive is, and my background is automotive, but I, I'm good where I'm at. Anyway, y'all see how quick I got thrown off. But going back to relationships, people going to have disagreements. Like right now, I have little or no trust for anybody. I trust the people who show me how they grind. So my round table, every one of these guys have shown me who they are, how they are, and that they got my back no matter what it is. Even when they ain't agree with the dumb shit I was doing, they had me. That's some other level stuff. Like only these dudes can like talk to me and talk me off the ledge because... We in the same skin. They got respect for me. Like I was talking to one. He said, you know what, Miss Ward? You work harder. I don't know who or anybody work harder than you. And to me, it's not working hard. It's just me focusing on my goals. There's so many flaws in my life. I have so many faults. And so I'm constantly on the, on the grind to improve because I know the only thing keeping me from being successful is me. And when you understand that, you deal with your demons within. You deal it with your own self-sabotage. You're going to be good. But first thing you got to do is be able to have relationships. And if you can't have a relationship with somebody, just be straight out. Look, I respect you, but I can't work with you. There's plenty of people I respect. I just don't work with them because I, I can't get down with that. Because I understand that they ain't putting in what I'm putting in. They not willing to pay that price. Plus, they got too many people they got to answer to. This one ain't got to answer nobody but God period. And I'm clear about that. But I built my relationship and business that way. 
Like, if I could ever have a business partner, I doubt it very seriously. You know, I could have B2B business, but we do business like that, business to business. But as far as a business partner, I can't see it happening simply because I have a different mindset. Now, as I continue to move through life and meet people at the same level, going at the speed, I actually can bring some to the table and bring some to me at the speed I do. Most people I know are so damn mediocre, like, they can't, can't get past their damn nose. Like they do not have the level of expectation or discipline for themselves, let alone their staff or employees. This is why my team is so tight and so slim because I'm not with it. Like I don't, I don't wanna hear your personal problems because there's nothing that you can tell me you've been through that I ain't had a glimpse of in my life. So all that, I didn't have this, I didn't know this, I need to learn. Well, guess what you ain't gonna learn here? Life is going to teach you. That's why when I'm coaching people, I'm giving them what they need to be successful. I'm giving them, but most of them get in their own way because they still trying to figure out how to do. If you just do the steps, not only will you learn how to do it, yeah, you're going to fall. Yeah, you're going to make mistakes. But if you think you're going to come to me and get a shortcut, only way you're going to have a shortcut is if you do exactly what I tell you to do. And most people will not do it because it doesn't make sense because they still got a W-2 mindset. They still working in those, those uh, in a restricted and limited mindset. So why waste your time? You know, like shout out to my girls, uh, Cherie and Juan over there uh, at the 10K Black uh, Startup Project. I mean, come on, man. They got it going on. I see these sisters relentlessly giving back to the community. I see them relentlessly supporting businesses, you know. And I'm and then behind the scenes, I you know, it's, it's certain people they support I don't rock with. I ain't knocking them, but you know, I'm very clear when I see BS. You know what I'm saying? And when I see BS, I be like, whoa, you know. And it's only because I don't see things behind the scenes that other people have. It ain't my place to say nothing. It's my place to sit back and uh, meditate, make sure I take care of mine because everybody got their journey. And not everybody's going to have the same relationship, you know what I'm saying, with, with you that they're going to have with somebody else. So I'm not about to knock anybody else's situation. The name of the game is to get out here and get paid and to stay paid and to level up as much as you can consistently because if COVID ain't teach y'all nothing else, they now so taught you that the world will come to a stop and how you gonna eat. If you think on, you gonna sit there and collect stimulus checks, you a damn idiot because that stuff is coming to a halt so quick. I can't even believe they started. I mean, shit, welfare was enough. Section eight was enough. Come on, people, get out here and do something. Stop relying on somebody to take care of you and help you because ain't nobody gonna save your ass. Y'all been programmed to believe that. You better get out here and develop your relationships and build your businesses. Because that's the only people going to make it is damn business owners, homeowners, property owners, somebody that got something. But if you ain't bringing nothing to the table and you're not a producer, you're not bringing that, it's over for you. I'm going to tell you what they won't tell you. It's straight over. Like I said, I'm about to go up here and uh, see my favorite barber over here at JT Cuts. Get my cut in, tighten up my, and then I'm finna ride out. Take care of some other business I got. Get my inventory in order. I think I got one more damn return I overlooked. And then I'm all about that business credit and banking, boy. I got like, a, I gotta spend a whole day on that, but that's what I mean about it. And let's not even talk about taxes. I'm telling y'all, y'all, when you got a business, you got stuff to do every day. Every day. You need to stay on top of the business because if not, it's going to be a problem. Damn, I should have went and got my t-shirts. It's not going to let me in here. Damn, I got to go pick up my t-shirts too. <sighs> my uniforms. Just got them freshly uh, hooked up. I hope my barb is in here. Please let my barber be up in here. I know they ain't here because they hustlers. JT Cuts. I love that dude. That dude got multiple locations, got a barber shop. And I remember when he started out and he only had one. And it's, I got a lot of respect for him. That's why anytime he got a problem with any of his appliances, he be trying to pay me. I'm like, nah, dude, I'm fixing your stuff for free. Just for good luck. Man, trying to get a place to park. 
this clown coming around here. God, this song is hard to find a place to hit a ball. Man. I'll let you know how busy they be over here. It's nowhere to park in the back. He waving me down now. He's one of the places, man. I'm about to park in the back.